And now for our formula race car, we're using three balloons, and you may notice some of them look a little funny. Um, if you've already watched the car in the pickup, you should know how to make wheels. If you haven't watched them, go back and watch them. This was a black 350 that I've already went ahead and make wheels out of. That technique is already shown on two other. I thought a third time probably would be just a little bit overkill, so I've already made the wheels. We'll come back to those in a minute. And then I've got a pair of 260s. Uh, this yellow I've inflated with about a four inch tail and a diamond clear that I've only inflated about six or seven inches because we won't even use all of that. That's going to be the cockpit on the car or the cab. So what we're going to do is we're going to make about a one inch bubble and then we're going to make a pair of pinch twists to make about a half inch bubble. Make it a pinch twist. Another half inch bubble. Make that a pinch twist. And we're going to come back and make about a one inch bubble, well let's make it just a little more, about an inch and a half bubble. And again, we're going to make a pair of pinch twists. So a half inch bubble, pinch twist, half inch bubble, pinch twist. That's one thing you'll see. If you're not comfortable with pinch twists, by the time you get through with one of my DVDs, you'll have made about 50 or 60, or at least it feels that way. You should be good with them by then. So, now we're going to take and make about a four inch bubble. And guess what? Two more pinch twists. So another half inch bubble, pinch twist, half inch bubble, pinch twist. Now we want to do this next section. We want to kind of round out around this. We want all three of these to be flat. We don't want it to do a bird body or a three bubble row through look. So what you want to do is this one longer than that so it'll stay out to the side of it. Twist it into those front two pinch twists there. And then do it again on the other side again with the same effect. So you can see how it's laying flat instead of a traditional three bubble bird body effect. And these pinch twists on the end are going to help it stay flat like that. So, so what we did, we did our bubble, our two pinch twists, another bubble two more pinch twists, this bubble here and then the pinch twist and we just wrapped basically around this piece here locking into those pinch twists. Now we're going to need two more pinch twists just like in the front. It's getting a little tight but don't worry about it. Beauty of balloons, you can always make adjustments as you can see this is much longer than it really needs to be. Well I know that because I know what I'm going to do, you haven't learned that part yet but I'll show you in a minute. Because we want it to be about like that so I'm going to take Pop a little hole in the end of this. And then just let the air out until it gets to the side I want. And then tie it back off. Making adjustments with balloons is really easy. Okay, that's going to be the essential body. And you're thinking, how on earth is that a formula race car? Watch this. We're going to take our wheels and these pair of pinch twists we have on either end here, that's going to lock our wheels in and force them out to the side. So the wheels in and I'll spin this little point around one of the wheels to lock it in place and position those pinch twists so that they're lined up with the body of the car going that way. One on the top, one on the bottom. And then do the same for the other end. And this is a little bit tight so you just have to be gentle with it a little bit. Bring it around and lock that back in place the same as we did the other. And by now you should be starting to get an idea of where this is going. Now with our diamond clear that we have left, take and on these pair of pinch twists on the main body here, you want to twist it into one of them in the front. Bring this over the top and then twist it into the opposite one on the back. to lock it in place really good. Take the excess off and then just secure that by pushing it around several times to lock it in place. Tuck it in out of the way. And there you have a Formula One race car.